it's time now to take a look at conditional ifs. And when I say conditional ifs, I mean specifically three functions, count ifs, sum ifs, and average ifs. Now you'll notice in the title here that where we have count ifs, sum ifs, and average ifs, I've put the S in brackets. Now the reason why I've done that is because there are singular versions of these formulas as well. So count if, sum if, and average if without the S. Now I've chosen not to show you the singular version in this course. What's the reason for that? Well, you don't actually need them now that we have the plural version with the S on the end, because count ifs, sum ifs, and average ifs can do exactly the same as count if, sum if, and average if, and they can also do more. So let's take a look at how they work. So we're going to start out with sum ifs. Now, notice in this table here, we have a list of sales agents that work on the sales team. We have the company that they're assigned to, we have their job title, and we have the total amount of sales that they've generated. And what I want to do over here is I want to sum the sales based on different pieces of criteria. So for the first calculation here, you can see I've got Microworld highlighted in green. So basically, I want to perform a calculation that says sum the total sales when the company is equal to Microworld. So we basically have a logical test with some criteria. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in equals sum ifs. Now, this formula has three arguments, sum range, criteria range one, and criteria one. So the first thing you need to specify is what you want to sum. So in this first example, we're summing the total sales for Microworld. So our sum range is going to be the total sales range, comma, criteria range one. Now, the way I think about this is I like to think about what my criteria is first, and then my criteria range is just where I'm going to find that piece of criteria. So my criteria is Microworld. Where am I going to find that? Well, I'm going to find it in the company range. So that is my criteria range, comma. What's my criteria? My criteria is Microworld, F6. Close the bracket, hit enter, and I get my result. So this is the total amount of sales where the company is equal to Microworld. Now in the next example, we're taking this upper level because we have two pieces of criteria. This time I want to sum all of the sales for the sales reps at Microworld only. So let's type in equals sum ifs. Our sum range is the total sales. Criteria range one. Well, our first piece of criteria is Microworld again. So our criteria range is where we're gonna find that, which is the company range. Our criteria is Microworld. But now if I press comma, it moves on to criteria range two. So we can carry on going. So my next piece of criteria is that they must be sales reps. Where are we going to find this? Well, we're going to find it in the job title column. That is our criteria range, comma, and our criteria is sales rep. Close the bracket, hit enter, and we get our result. And the final example here, we have three pieces of criteria. So let's jump straight into our sum ifs again. Our sum range is the total sales. Criteria range one is the company, our criteria is Microworld. Criteria range two is the job title. The criteria is sales rep. And now our third piece of criteria is we only want to sum sales that are greater than 7,000. So what's our criteria range gonna be here? Well, it's gonna be the total sales column and our criteria is going to be this cell or you could type in greater than 7,000. So I'm gonna select the cell. Let's close the bracket, hit enter, and we get our result. And if you wanted to just do a quick visual check of this to make sure that all your numbers are correct, let's go through and let's highlight those sales. So wherever we have Microworld sales rep, so that cell just there, and there are no other records that match that piece of criteria. So the total sales should be 7139, and I can see that yes, it is. Now, count ifs works in a very similar way, except instead of summing, we're counting. So let's do equals count ifs. So in this first example, I want to count the total number of employees at Computech. So my criteria range is the company, comma, my criteria is Computech. Close the bracket, hit enter, and I can see that there are six sales agents at Computech. Let's do this example. So the next one, this time we're trying to calculate the total number of employees at Computech with the job title of sales manager. 
So our criteria range is the company. Our criteria is Computech. Criteria range two is the job title. Criteria is sales manager. Close the bracket, hit enter, and there are three sales managers at Computech. And we can see there's one, there's one, and there's the third. And then finally, we want to count the total number of employees at Computech with the job title of sales manager and less than 9,000 in sales. So equals count ifs. Criteria range one is the company. Hopefully you're getting the idea of repetition is the best way to learn. Criteria is Computech. Criteria range two is the job title. Criteria is sales manager. And finally, criteria range three is the sales and the criteria is what we have in cell H16. Close the bracket, hit enter, and we get a result of two. And if I highlight those in the table, you, you can see that two of them have less than 9,000 in sales. And then the final one, I've just got two examples here because it works exactly the same, is average ifs. So this is if we want to calculate averages for multiple pieces of criteria. So this time we just want to work out the average of the sales for Computech. So our average range is going to be the sales. Our criteria range is going to be the company and our criteria is going to be Computech. Close the bracket, hit enter. There is our average. Let's finish off the set and do the final one, average ifs. This time we're working out the average sales for people who work at Computech with the job title of sales rep. Average range is this range just here. Criteria range is this range. Criteria one is Computech. And then finally, criteria range two is the job title and the criteria is sales rep. Close the bracket, hit enter, and we have our result. So hopefully you can see there how useful these functions could be. In fact, both count ifs and some ifs have been voted amongst Excel users as two of the most useful functions. Give them a practice. Hopefully we've repeated this enough times that they are now solidified in your brain. Check them out, have a play around, and I'll see you in the next lesson. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.